Hello everyone and welcome back to my playlist of pathology. We are doing this from medium robins or heart ki pathology hum discuss kar rahe and today's topic is going to be arrhythmias. Now arrhythmias are a very important topic because they are life threatening. So a patient can lose life if arrhythmias are not addressed uh, abruptly okay uh, immediately. So uh, you know in the very beginning you must understand case ki importance kitni hai. You cannot, uh, you know, just miss the topic of arrhythmia, whether it is pathology or physiology, ho, medicine, ho, arrhythmias are very, very important, okay? Now, the word arrhythmia basically means, uh, rhythm se hat kar agar koi cheez ho rahi ho. so aberrant rhythms can be initiated anywhere in the conduction system, from the sinoatrial node down to the level of an individual myocyte. Dekhen, aapke heart mein iska apna electric circuit hai, pura, pura supply hai, aapko pata hai. Okay, the pace of the heart is generated in the sinoatrial node. Phir wo divide hota hai, uh, different fibers mein, reaches to the AV node, then further fibers and then the Purkanji fibers to the myocyte. So, pura circuit hai. Ab agar is circuit mein, kahin bhi automatic discharge shuru ho jai, depolarization wave ka, so that can cause arrhythmia. Dekhe, har cheez ek rhythm se chalti hai na. Sinoatrial node pe aapki depolarization waves initiate hoti hain. Phir wo transfer hoti hain to the AV node. Wahan delay ek aata hai, chota sa. And then it is transported to the rest of the myocardium. Now, agar, say for example, sinoatrial node ki to apni jaga, lekin yahaan kahi AV node mein ek alag se rhythm banna shuru ho jai. Purkanji fibers mein alag se rhythm banna shuru ho jai. To ye jo rhythm banna start ho jai ki achanak se, that is what we will label as, uh, uh, you know, arrhythmia. So, arrhythmias are obviously not good because this is something other than normal rhythm of your cardiac conduction system. So, that's why these are not something which are very good for you. In, indeed, they are lethal for you. They can cause death, okay? Now, एक बात आपको और याद रखनी है यहां इस स्टेज पर कि जो एरिथमियाज हैं दे कैन बी जनरेटेड एनीवेयर इन द होल कंडक्शन सिस्टम ये जो अभी आपको पूरा कंडक्शन सिस्टम मैं बता रहा हूं जिसमें नोड्स हैं फाइबर्स हैं इनमें भी कहीं भी जनरेट हो सकता है एरिथमिया and also sometimes your cardiac myocytes they decide to uh, you know discharge depolarization waves at their own so that can even happen at the level of the myocytes so not only the conduction system but your specialized myocytes can also become a depolarization hub and they can cause abnormal rhythm in the cardiac cycle as well okay now they are typically designated as originating from atrium uh, agar wo ventricle se upar hai yani atrium mein hai so that they are called supraventricular arrhythmias or agar ventricles mein generate ho raha hai focus of depolarization uh, then it is called ventricular arrhythmia so arrhythmias ko kai tarike se divide kiya jata hai classify kiya jata hai one of the classification system is uh, to divide them on the basis of if they are coming from supraventricular area so supraventricular and if they are coming from ventricle then they are called ventricular okay now abnormalities in myocardial conduction can be sustained or sporadic sporadic matlab paroxysmal aayenge phir theek ho jayenge phir aayenge phir theek ho jayenge they can manifest as tachycardia simply heartbeat tez ho gayi hai aur bradycardia sometimes heartbeat slow ho gayi hai aur irregular rhythm with normal ventricular contraction. So that happens perhaps in the very initial phases of the disease as well. And people are just not aware. So for example, if somebody is suffering from hypertension or if somebody has mild ischemia of the myocytes, these things can lead to uh, foci of abnormal depolarization generation. So chaotic depolarization hoti hai, but overall ventricular function initial phases mein uh, thik thak rata. So there is no uh, involvement of the ventricular function. So, without any functional ventricular contraction, B is, that is then the later stage. Okay, initially, there is normal ventricular contraction and later on, there is disturbance in the ventricular function. Okay, and then sometimes you just, uh, you know, aapke heart mein hum ek word use karte hain, uh, depolarization uh, coupled to contraction. Yani there is depolarization of the cardiac muscles and then the cardiac muscles contract. So, agar depolarization normal nahi hai, to contraction nahi hogi. To myocardium jo hai, it will not contract. So, th these are different, uh, you can say, a spectrum mein severity ki different classes hai. Okay, there can be arrhythmias without involvement of or disturbance of ventricular function. There can be uh, arrhythmias with ventricular function and with complete absence of the contraction activity so that will be called asystole no systole no contraction of the ventricle will happen 
Patients may be unaware of the rhythm disorder or may not are racing hard or palpitation. They may complain just this. Kya pata lagda ki dil kahi bhag raha hai, dag 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 hua jara, tezi se. Loss of irrigate cardiac output due to sustained arrhythmia can produce lightheadedness. Near syncope, aisa lagda ki ab behosh hone wale hai. Loss of consciousness uh, bhi ho sakta, baakada behosh ho sakte. And the person can be suddenly dead, which is what we call sudden cardiac death. So all these things are related to. एरिथमियाज नाउ इमेजिन ना आपका हार्ट है हार्ट हैज टू कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑल द टाइम नॉर्मली अब अगर एरिथमिया है यानी कोई फोकस ऑफ रिदम डिस्टर्ब है यहाँ डिजेनरेशन वे फॉलो हो रही है हार्ट सही से कॉन्ट्रैक्ट नहीं कर रहा सिस्टल नहीं हो रही तो ब्लड सप्लाई नहीं होगी ना टू दी मेजर पार्ट्स ऑफ योर बॉडी और अगर ब्रेन में ब्लड सप्लाई नहीं जाती द पेशेंट विल फील लाइक डिजीनेस लाइट हेडेडनेस और मे बी सिन की पी और अगर हार्ट बीट करना ही छोड़ देता है बिकॉज ऑफ ए रेगुलर रिदम दैन द पर्सन कैन हैव सडन कार्डियक डेथ Okay, so these are all super important things to consider for arrhythmias. Now, ischemic injury is the most common cause of rhythm disorder. So this is a very important tagline: that ischemia to heart leads to rhythm disorder. Okay, if sinoatrial node is damaged, other fibers or even the atrioventricular node can take over the pacemaker function, and this can cause bradycardia because unka apna ek rate hota hai. डिस्चार्ज का बट इफ साइनोट्रियल नोट इज डिस्टर्ब देन यू नो दिस इज हाउ योर कार्डियक एक्टिविटी इज अलाइन के दर इज अट्रियल नोट देन फाइबर देन ए वी नोट सो इफ दिस इज फॉर एग्जाम्पल स्कीमेट और नॉट बींग सप्लाइड विद ब्लड सप्लाई अप्रोप्रिएटली देन अदर पार्ट ऑफ द कंडक्शन सिस्टम कैन टेक ओवर इफ एट्रियल मायोसाइड्स बिकम इरिटेबल एंड डी पोलराइज यानी नाउ द हब ऑफ डी पोलराइजेशन आर द एट्रिया के मसल सेल्स then the signals are variably transmitted through the av node leading to random irregular heart rate or atrial fibrillation called atrial fibrillation or supraventricular ye baat to pehle hi maine aapko bata di aur agar av node dysfunctional hai then uh, there are varying degrees of heart block ranging from simple pro- prolongation of the uh, pr interval which you see on the ecg which is what we call the first degree heart block and uh, there can be intermittent transmission of signal which is called sec- second degree heart block and complete failure of transmission of signal from the atria to the ventricle which is called the third degree heart block jo ke hum medicine mein bahut detail mein padhte hain but the basic idea is if there are ischemic episodes then and to different parts so for example if a as a node is disturbed then other parts of the conduction system take over agar atrial myocytes irritated hain then atrial fibrillation um and if av node is disturbed then first second and third degree heart block there are certain heritable conditions uh, which can also cause arrhythmias they are important to recognize because they may alert physician to need for intervention to prevent sudden cardiac attack agar hereditarily aapko transfer hua arrhythmias uh, should be known because otherwise uh, you know sudden death ho jayegi obviously heart suddenly uh, haphazardly beat karna shuru kar dega some of these disorders are associated with recognizable anatomic abnormality um such as hypertrophic cardiomyopathy uh, valve prolapse however other heritable disorders precipitated arrhythmias and sudden death in absence of any structural um cardiac pathology so structurally the heart is fine but the electrical circuits are not these syndromes can only be diagnosed by generic testing which is performed in those with a positive family history of unexplained non lethal arrhythmia so the baby born you check for the genes and the most important mutations are uh, called the channelopathies which are caused by mutations in the genes that are required for normal sodium potassium and calcium channel now try to recall the uh, you know physiology of uh, cardiac cycle all these signs are super important for depolarization for the plateau phase and for repolarization so sodium calcium potassium agar inke channels mein masla hai then there will be problems and uh, inherited agar disorder hai so they need to need to be checked and tested by a genetic test The prototype is the long QT syndrome characterized by prolongation of the QT segment on the ECG mutation in several different genes have been identified which can cause long QT syndrome such as Q- KCN Q1 being the most common because it is the most common i would say you should remember this okay it results in decreased potassium current so it deals with uh, you know uh, abnormal cardiac cycle basically uh potassium is for k you can remember this and q is for qt so i'm trying to give you a way to remember this difficult name of the gene which is involved okay now because of arrhythmias uh, sudden cardiac death is not uncommon it is actually defined uh, as an unexpected death due to lethal arrhythmia 
सच एज ए सिस्टली बिल्कुल कोई सिस्टली नहीं हो रही और सस्टेन वेंट्रिकुलर फिब्रलेशन सो वेंट्रिकल्स आर कॉन्ट्रैक्टिंग एट अ वेरी बिजार स्पीड एट अ वेरी बिजार फैशन ओके यानी बंदा अब आप कह रहे हैं यार अभी तो बिल्कुल ठीक था अचानक उसकी डेथ हो गई सो दैट कैन बी द प्रॉब्लम Roughly 400,000 individuals are victim of sudden cardiac death each year in the United States. Coronary artery disease is the leading cause, and that leads to the ischemia. And ischemia is the leading cause of uh, arrhythmia, as I just told you. Of interest, autopsy typically shows severe atherosclerotic disease. So, because of high cholesterol level, there is atherosclerosis. Coronary arteries are uh, kind of affected with atherosclerosis and reduce blood supply to the heart. Okay. Now, eighty to ninety percent of the patients who suffer from sudden cardiac death but are successfully resuscitated do not show enzymatic or ECG evidence. So they suddenly they they just are gone, right? In younger victims of sudden cardiac death, non-atherosclerotic causes can also be more common, such as hereditary problem including channelopathies, congenital coronary artery abnormalities, uh, any problem with the valve uh, such as mitral valve prolapse. Uh, sarcoidosis dilated so the, this is a list of pulmonary hypertension disorders which you should consider if somebody has sudden cardiac death and is a young patient because atherosclerosis usually is seen in uh, older patients or patients who are beyond middle age at least although ischemic injury can directly affect major component of the conduction system most cases of fatal arrhythmias are triggered by electrical irritability of myocardium distant from the conduction system not so important for your examination the prognosis of many patient at risk of sudden cardiac death including those with chronic ischemic heart disease is markedly improved by implantation of a pacemaker so pacemaker is an artificial device which you insert and it overrides the existing conduction system and that's the way to go for in patients in whom you are suspecting sudden cardiac death okay so overall arrhythmias are super important topic basically your heart decides to beat at a different pace which is abnormal and in order um, for heart to function normally your pace should be normal if the pace is abnormal then that is a big problem and the patient can die suddenly which is what we call the sudden cardiac death okay so remember ischemia is number one cause atherosclerosis is number one associated thing so that is all about this very important topic i'll see you in the next video very soon take care of yourself